friends! In today's video, I have a review of the Sleeping Queens card game. This is one of our family favorites to play, and in today's video, I will be showing you the instruction sheet just in case you lost yours as well as explaining how to play the game as you watch my husband and my daughter and I play this game together. This game is recommended for ages eight and up, but my daughter's four, so you'll see how we play showing all of her cards to modify this game so that she can play with us. And this game is for two to five players. Gameplay takes about 20 minutes. This game is by Game Right and is a really rousing, <laughs> card game. This video is not sponsored. My family bought this for me for my birthday a couple years back and I just have to share it with you because it is one of our family favorites. All right, let's jump into the instruction sheet. Deluxe Sleeping Queens card game. You get 85 cards, which includes 16 queens, 10 kings, four jesters, four knights, four sleeping potions, three wands, three dragons, four of each number, one through 10. The object of the game is to be the first player to collect five queens or have 50 points in a two to three player game, or collect four queens or have 40 points in a four to five player game, or have the most points when all the queens have been awakened. When you are setting up, take a moment to get familiar with all of the different types of cards and the point values associated with each type of card. Separate the cards into two decks according to card back. Shuffle the 12 queen cards, which are the greenbacks, and place them face down, which means they are asleep in the center of the playing area in four rows of three. Then shuffle the red backed deck, deal five cards to each player. Then place the remaining cards face down in a draw pile in the center of the queens. Players will discard cards onto a face up pile next to the draw pile. Look at your cards, but keep them secret from opponents, unless you're playing with a four year old, and then you need to see her cards. Okay, let's go over the different types of playing cards. This is just a brief overview of each playing card. Of course, you get more instructions on the instructional sheet. Play a king to awaken a sleeping queen from the center playing area. Play a knight to steal any one of your opponent's awakened queens. However, your opponent can stop your knight by immediately playing a dragon card. Play a sleeping potion card to put any of your opponent's awakened queens back to sleep. Shh, don't wake the queens. However, your opponent can defend against a sleeping potion by immediately playing a wand card from their hand. Play a jester card and take a chance. Don't forget that your hand of cards must always have five playing cards and that special queen cards have special powers. For example, the strawberry queen is immune from sleeping potions and nights. Once you wake her up, she is yours for the rest of the game. Here are some brief little clips of my family and I playing this game. My name is Sean. I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right, so I'm attacking you with poison, but you are fending me off with your magic wand. Shh. Ah. <laughs> ah, great. The jester, you play it and you take the, the top card and if it's a power card, then you get to keep it. Okay. Oh, and I get to take another turn. Okay. So I'll play this game. And I wake up the ladybug queen. And I wake up. How are you doing? <laughs> you are winning. You have four queens and you've got defense. Defense. All right, you're playing your knight and you're going to steal which one? The cat queen. Too bad. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a dragon. Put it here. Oh, man. I want to play again. Winning hand. I literally only had one queen. <laughs> can, can, can we 